coffee are we trying this morning? Um, hold off. You know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm probably just gonna hold off and then have a look at Okay. Okay, we're trying a Starbucks pod. Oh, this yeah? Morning. Yeah. I'm very intrigued. Good morning, friends. Welcome to the vlog. It's actually like, I think it's gonna pour. When I came down this morning, it was like beautiful. There was sun coming in, but it's getting dark fast. It's gonna be a thunderstormy day, which I am personally looking forward to. We have egg bites. Simon also has egg bites. He also has some oatmeal that he's having here for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, we are finally going to build my new bed frame. I'm so excited. I think the room is gonna look so nice and like put together and everything. So we are doing that as soon as we, well, we're eating and then we're gonna do a, a little morning yoga and then we're going to build the bed and then we're gonna plan our next <laughs> adventure. <laughs> Anyways, that's this morning. And then actually tonight we have like a little family reunion. My grandparents are in, my aunt is in from California, cousins, everyone. Like it's gonna be very fun. Going over to Carter Matthews house. Having a little family reunion over there. Got at my parents' house tomorrow. That's what's going on. We're eating breakfast. All right, we're doing it. Ignore my socks. We're gonna make the bed. Simon actually made it this morning, but now we're gonna have to move it all. So anyways, I'm very excited. Finally doing this. Let's do it. Let's have a nice bed in here. Question, I thought of this the other day. Do you wanna do this? And then we can just lift this one straight up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I got it, sorry. Okay, no, I help, I can help. And now for the fun. So lay B and C metal rails into A metal corners to create the shape of your bed frame. Just bolt on the inside, screw it on there. Yeah, but I try, I need to like... Loosely attach G and H upholstered rails to bed frame using H7 bolts and H8 washers. I had every intention of vlogging this weekend. Every intention. I thought I was gonna vlog everything, and I vlogged nothing. It's now Monday. Spent the whole weekend with my family and Simon, which was really fun. He got to meet my grandparents, and I just didn't end up vlogging. I did get a couple clips on my phone. Friday night was at Carter Matt's house. Saturday was at my parents' house. Yesterday we went out to dinner at the keg. That was really, really yummy. I just got like this baked goat cheese and mm, delish. And now it's Monday. Everyone's leaving, going back home. Even my brother who drove in, which was so nice. It was so nice having him. It was a very fun family weekend. It was funny like watching all of the Coachella posts go on. And I was like, I am over here having a wholesome little weekend with my family. It brought back all these memories from when I went to Revolve Festival in 2019, watching like the chaos that ensued. Oh, hello? Perfect, I will see you in 10 minutes then.
Thank you, bye. We have another furniture delivery today and I'm so excited about it. The room is, I didn't even show you my bed after we made it, but another bedroom piece is arriving in 10 minutes from CB2. So that's very exciting. The room is coming together and I can show you how it's looking. When we finished making the bed, I like, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. The bed itself, gorgeous, love it. But I wasn't used to seeing the bed that tall because it's been like, you know, a low bed for a while there because I haven't had a bed frame and I was used to that height. So I've let it be and I think I'm getting used to it and it looks normal. I think it's just like the low nightstands that just totally throw it off. Anyways, I will show you. Looks nice and cozy. I did not make the bed. I also haven't put away the laundry that is on the floor. I know, I know. Anyways, this is how it's looking. Let me open this. I think it looks normal. I just need to get, you know, proper nightstands for this of a bed but it's so cozy and i love the bed frame it makes me so happy the new piece is going right here it's just a little console for under the tv i think that's gonna finally finish this look i have to replace these pictures not intending to keep <laughs> the matching eiffel tower pics i'm going to replace with my own personal pics but once this is in i'm just ugh, it's all gonna kind of look a little bit more done which makes me very excited to probably pull this tag off it's gonna look so good and then I can put something on it, decorate, make it cute. So that should be here in five minutes. And then I could just get to my Monday. I think my dad's gonna come over and we're gonna start talking about outside. It should be a very chill day over here, like chill work day. I also do wanna call Jill to talk about her Coachella weekend. It looked wild, so fun. It's one of those things where like, you know, I'm watching all of the pictures on Instagram and it looks so fun and the outfits are sick. But whenever I had a, a moment of like, oh man, I probably should have stayed and just went. Whenever that creeps into my head, I remind myself of the reality of what that looks like, which is just not as simple as, you know, taking the pretty pics. And I'm saying that because I know so many people feel that way. Anyways, they should be here in like two minutes. I'm just gonna wait here until my doorbell rings. It's here, it's in my room, I will show you. And then I'm gonna wash my hair because I feel like it. Anyways, there she be. Yay. Very cute, fits the space perfectly. I didn't wanna get something that was gonna be too bulky because there's not that much space here, but I feel like it's perfect. Nice and simple. I wanna get more stuff to style the top of it, but for now, we got a little pop of color. I think it's really cute. Also, please ignore that I have to get a pot for this little olive tree. I gotta move this laundry thing because I'm not actually using it. This is what I use for my laundry now. But I think it's perfect. It's like textured too, which is nice. I think it looks great. Freshly washed, freshly Dysoned hair. I also put on this set that I forgot that I had that I was obsessed with before I left. I imagine I will be re-obsessed. Maybe I should buy another color. But I used like the bigger attachment, the bigger curling attachment from the Dyson. I usually use the small one, but I was curious. The hair is big, it's gonna fall which is when it's gonna look good or like good to me because this is much too big for me. But you know what? I still think it looks bomb as heck. Anyways, we're gonna call my dad and figure out our game plan. Hello! Well, I wanted to know what was going on with you to see if we were still gonna chat about, you know, the yeah. outside. Yeah, so, um, Jared's heading. Do you want me to come over? Sure. We'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye now. Lovely. My dad's gonna come over. We're gonna chat about some exciting things and then I'm just gonna work all day and get into bed early and start reading Verity. That is the book I'm starting with. I asked Jill what she thinks I should start with, like top three books to get me deep into a reading hole. So we're starting with Verity. I plan on having a very relaxing, chill Monday evening. And it's gonna be perfect because the rest of the week is probably gonna be busy. So. Anybody home? Oh, hello. Oh, look at the hairs. Hairs are really, really looking. <laughs> what going on? You know, it's freshly Dyson. What's a girl to do? Are you okay? Doing swell. How are you doing today? Swell. Just swell. Give me 64 inches to the edge of the window. Okay. This thing is going to be this. It's the end. Yeah, like uh, probably a lifetime project. <laughs> Just this freaking door. No, it doesn't there close. It, is. it closed? Yeah, when you give it a good pull now. Okay, yeah, 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 nice. So much fun. So much fun. It does feel like we're back in last year doing this shit. I miss last year. I know. Oh, the rain is coming down. It's actually said it's supposed to snow, but I don't know. It's not that cold. But it's raining and it's so peaceful and my hair, this is like where it's falling. It's actually quite a bit later, 4.30. My dad's been here for a while, talked about some stuff. Ooh. Talk about some outside stuff. Kind of joked around about a potential project. I mean, it's not, there's no potential project, but the idea 
of a project excites us a little bit but now that he's gone it's just me made a reservation for dinner for tomorrow night with maddie which is gonna be really great i have to do some editing here but it's gonna be really nice and peaceful with the raid i want to be done by six so i can just sit on the couch and start my book especially with the rainy day the vibes are good also i spoke to jill it'll be a facetime tomorrow kind of vibe the girl needs to recharge which is very valid and understandable <laughs> The snow outside, guys. It's December. Look at it. Wait, you can't even see. I'm sorry. It's just straight. It's just white out there. It's full. It's full snowing. I can't even believe my eyes. I'm very confused as to what month it is or what's going on. 6:43, and I'm going to cook some stuff. Just gonna cook up some veggies and then make something for dinner. Maybe a pasta, pasta with veggies. I don't know. Still have some more work to do. I told myself I was gonna stop at six, but I got into the work grind. So we're not stopping anytime soon, especially because it's still light outside that it feels like daytime. So I don't feel I need to stop working, but I am getting hungry. So I figured we would cook up some veggies. We're gonna cook up some bok choy as well as some zucchini. And then I'll make something for dinner. the snow outside. I cannot believe it. I was outside earlier just walking around. It's like, I feel like I'm in December. It's honestly blowing my mind a bit. This isn't like uncommon. This usually happens. There's like one or two final snows in like April, sometimes May, but it doesn't last long. Like by end of day tomorrow, the snow should be gone. But as of right now, it's looking crazy out there. I can't believe it. But I have a little pasta here for dinner. It's now 7.45. Cooked my tofu, my zucchini, my bok choy. Feeling good about that. Now I have fresh veggies to eat. Anyways. Mmm. This slaps. This is very good. Spicy. Delicious. All right, guys. It is, what, like 9.30? 9.15. And I have indeed crawled myself into bed. I have my Kindle. I also have my computer because I want to do a little bit more editing, but I think I'm going to call it at like 9.45. I just figured I would crawl into bed. I am very excited. I actually like holding this in my hands gets me really genuinely excited. Like, I just like the reading experience on here. I'm ready. <laughs> I also, last night I finished The Ultimatum on Netflix, which I thought was very entertaining. I was thoroughly amused. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought in the comments. It's definitely like a cheesy trash reality kind of, that's what I wanted to watch. All day I've been like, there was something new for me to watch, but I couldn't remember what it was. It's a new Kardashian show. I really want to watch that, but I also really want to read this. It's a constant struggle between do I read or do I watch television? Or do I work? Maybe all three. I have enough time tonight. It's only 9.15. I got hours, so we'll see. I'm also starting to think that I'm going to change these curtains. I knew from like a design standpoint that you're really supposed to have curtains, you know, as high as possible to lengthen the room. But I didn't want to do that because if I put curtains up here, like you're supposed to do for the best aesthetics, it's not as functional because then it chops off like two feet of the room, which is the bay window. So it was a bit of like a, an internal struggle of fighting the aesthetic point of view and like the functionality. But I am starting to think that I am going to just have like blinds there that are not functional. I'm never gonna close them, but just like on the sides of the windows to look good. And then I'll put what I have in the kitchen in the bay window. I'm not a thousand percent sure about it because I really don't mind this. Like this looks fine to me. 
but I think it would probably look better, especially with now a higher bed. I feel like the room kind of needs it, so... I don't know. We'll see. Sharing my thoughts. But I am going to end the vlog here because it is bedtime. And if I keep filming, that means I have more to edit. And then I will never get around to starting this book. And I have to start it. I have to. And I can't stop touching my hair. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Hope you're excited about all the new things. And like, I have to do more in the living room. There's lots of furnishing and decorating to be done ahead of us. Lots of things. Lots of things. I'm excited. Anyways, I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.